Hey guys, I just want to quickly show you how to limit your frame rates with River Tuner Statistics in Path of Exile. The reason you would want to do this is because when you map in, game, in Path of Exile and shit's exploding, especially with the new blight mechanic, your frames dip pretty hard, especially if you have uncapped frames. So right now I have VSync enabled in the game. So as you can see here, my frame times is pretty jumpy still. My frame rate is jumpy. Oh, and you can see this right here in River Tuner Statistics that the graph is also jumpy representing this. So what you want to do first of all is disable VSync in Path of Exile. You are then going to want to open up MSI Afterburner, which I will provide a link to download. So you're just going to come to the official MSI page, scroll down, download it, install it. Make sure you also install River Tuner Statistics. Once you have it installed, you are then going to want to open up MSI Afterburner, which looks like this. You're going to click the cogwheel. You're going to make sure, I think this is on by default, just enable hardware control and monitoring. Make sure that's enabled. Then go to the monitoring tab. Uh, you're going to look, yours is going to look a bit different than mine. Uh, frame times down below. You could click and drag and push up to the top wherever you want or what you want to monitor. Just click it and drag it up top. Make sure you select the checkbox. Because if you don't have it selected, so I'll press apply, GPU usage now is disabled. Uh, just make sure show in on screen display is enabled. Specifically with frame times, I like to have a graph versus a number. It's just easier to look at. You can play a little bit, check your left, and just you can see how much it dips better than just a number. Okay. Oh, and just. Uh, here on screen display, that's just hotkeys, and then if you want to show it in videos and whatnot. So that's it in MSI Afterburner. You can also detach this and show on your other monitor if you want to watch as well. That. Once you have that all good to go, you could open up River Tuner Statistics. The main thing you want to show is show on screen display. This is going to be empty for you, so you're going to press the add button. You're going to find your pathofexile.exe, you're going to select it, press open, and then it'll come up on this list. I've added multiple applications. You could shift click an application when it's open to make sure River Tuner Statistics doesn't try to hook into it to show you the frame rate of that program. And the main thing you want is show own statistics. Have that enabled. You could choose where you want the on-screen display to show. I like top left typically. Here, the frame rate is zero. So we have uncapped frames. We're at 270, 266. You see in the in-game Path of Exile chart, it's pretty high. The frame time is a bit jumpy. You, Depending on what you like to do, so I have a G-Sync monitor. I normally play in full screen. I will limit it three frames below my refresh rate. So my refresh rate is 144 hertz. If you're 165, you'll do 160, what is it, two? I do 141. Press enter. You immediately know, notice your frame time is now smoother. The in-game statistics is a lot smoother as well. Uh, however, depending on what you want to do, so I would map and watch with Afterburner this. If you notice you are dipping to around 120, for instance, you can limit it to 120. So even as you're playing, and if that's the lowest point you dip, your frame time is going to feel a lot smoother. And the game's just, it's just going to feel better as you play. So I'll just play around. It depends on your computer specs. Depends on what, you know, if you're streaming as well. Like maybe 141 is fine for me as I'm playing. But as soon as I record or as soon as I'm playing, I'll lower it to like 120. Once you have that going, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully it's a lot smoother for you guys. If you have any questions, ask away. If I can improve this video, let me know. It's like my first tutorial. I'm assuming it's pretty, pretty terrible. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.